Hello everyone and welcome to the DraftSide technical series. My name is Anil Kambre and today I am going to show you how to make a simple floor plan using DraftSide. I am using DraftSide Enterprise Plus as it is feature rich software. I can make use of the rectangle command to outline the layout of the floor and offset it to represent it as a wall or I can speed up the work using rich lines. Rich lines help us create parallel lines which we can designate as a wall. Those rich lines or walls can be set to numerous styles and sizes. Here I am going to create a floor plan of a house. The idea is to show you how easily we can create a floor plan. Let me create sections, one for the bedroom area, the bathroom area and the kitchen. I made use of mouse gesture to invoke line command. With mouse gesture, I can have useful command handy by just pressing mouse right click. Let me switch off the view navigator so I can have a clear view. And let me add representation for bed and cupboard in respect to bedroom areas. One can create custom blocks of various configuration within DraftSite Enterprise Plus. Now my layout is ready so I can place furniture on the floor by making use of tool palette which you see on left side panel of the screen. I copied necessary asset that I need in floor plan from my legacy drawing and created my own tool palette. I categorized those assets based on the area where they are going to be used. So once we have our own library created, it's matter of just dragging and dropping the asset that you need. I started with those, drag them and place them on however I need and now let me add windows to the wall. Again based on need I can configure window size and style. Rotate it as desired and place it where I need. For demonstration I am placing windows randomly however you make can use of quick input to specify where you would like to place it. I can then designate the section by adding nodes to the sections like this is my hall area, uh, this is the kitchen area and those are the bedrooms areas and a bathroom area. Now let me go ahead and add a sofa and a TV in the hall. a dining table, sink, cookery, oven and a dishwasher in kitchen area. And a commode hand washer in bathroom area. I can then drag and drop few mannequins here and there with various positions and rotations. Let me beautify the area by adding flowers in hall and in bedroom and place a tree in veranda area. Now to designate cooking area in kitchen, let me apply hatch to it. I'm using the traditional hatch feature that you guys are already familiar with. Let me add a solid hatch for representing walls. And at the end, let me add dimensions to the area by using traditional dimension tools. Here my floor plan is ready. Draft site time saving features and functionality really helped me to easily create floor plans. Thank you.